Hey guys, Tuesday, March 19, 2024, U.S. session close on that gas. Let's see what happened today. As you can see, the bulls are getting a little, a little strong here. You can see that uh, below average, you know, not a lot of volume, not like this day, but these last uh, two days, uh, you can see that the bulls are getting a little more stronger. We broke this trend line. We're still having a tough time with the point of control, which is at 176. But I have a funny feeling that we might probably be breaking it this week, either tomorrow or Friday. So let's see how that's going to play out. In regards to our uh, simple glance chart, MACD is still positive. Ekanashi candle is positive right now, but below the 20 SMA, which is $1.77. But we still have a MACD positive. So that's good. So let's see. And we're above the uh, midpoint on the uh, weekly Wo Woody's pivot. So we just have to like tomorrow, if it's going to pull back, that'll be the last chance and then push up with strength and break through 176. That's what I'm uh, leaning that would probably happen. But, you know, price action is king. It's going to do what it's going to do. So that's but everything, you know, indicators, cycles, everything is right behind it. Uh, so the probability and the path of least resistance should be up. You know, if this is the low, we should go one, two, and build on a wave three. So, or at least here, one, two, and build on this wave three going up. So let's see how that's going to play out. Looking at our four-hour chart, you can see that that Andrew's pitchfork uh, angle has been holding. So that was key. Uh, I'm still long. I want to get up above this angle so I could just get rid of this pitchfork. But this is the one I want to see us penetrate. You can see that we're having a tough time. It's not the angle. It's more the uh, point of control where the bears are just pouncing and pushing. And it's going to, you know, it's going to be a matter of time before uh, a couple of big buyers uh, in conjunction with retail push hard and uh, take out, you know, those guys and maybe hit some stops and go up. Uh, let's look at our mid uh, point chart. As you can see, still resistance right here. This 176 key uh, level in regards to net gas. Uh, and we're hovering in there. Uh, now we're inside. I like to get it to go higher, to go uh, kiss at least 184, 194. And for the week, uh, right now, 174. So we're above it. Uh, targets to the upside, 184. And you guys know 189, 194. Uh, for today, for tomorrow, we need to stay above 172 and 174. This is the line in the sand. VWAP and targets to the upside would be 176, 179, and 180. And let's see, 174. Yeah, so 176 is the zero line. So we could get above that. Uh, which the bears have, you know, or that's the point of control. We have a fighting chance to at least get to 183. I'm not worried about 190. I'm just worried about regaining 183. And if we could get 183 and hold that, then we got a fighting chance to get to 190. So I'll leave it at that. Hope you like this video, and I'll keep you posted on my thoughts on natural gas.